to Sports, powered by Ford. The Reds have seen mixed results since sweeping the Cubs last weekend. They are 2-3 and three in their last five games, still hanging around the bottom of the NL Central. Tyler Mahe on the mound today for the Reds. He had one of his better games of his season. Besides this first inning boomer by Eric Thames over the right field wall to give the Brew crew an early lead in this one. So it kind of sounds like I lied to you about Molly, you know, but he did throw 12 strikeouts in this ball game, setting a new career high. He's definitely thrown into the hundreds as well. Later in this, uh, the seventh now, the pitcher, Michael Lorenzen. Let's sit back and watch this one sail over left field. Holy smokes, that is another grand slam for a Reds pitcher. And Lorenzen's third straight homer over the last two weeks. Looks like that guy could uh, probably change positions at this point. Let's check into the scoreboard now. What a great game for the Reds. If you get anywhere close to 15 hits, that typically means you're just going to win the game. Reds have a chance to tie the series tomorrow at 1 p.m. And over to the minors now. The Dragons were up 12 to 10 in the bottom of the ninth, but South Bend was really able to tie it and force extra innings. And I'll be honest, I thought the Dragons had this one in the bag, but South Bend wins 13-12 the final. Let's take a drive down to California. The Indians on the road in Oakland taking on the A's. Cleveland on top early, getting some insurance with that big hit by Jose Ramirez. That's his 24th home run of the season. Tribe leads by two. Now we're going to fast forward all the way to the bottom of the eighth. Now things have changed here a bit. Matt Olson hits a two-run homer to right center, and that is going to give the A's what they need to win this one. 7-2 the final. And Tiger Woods back in action at the Quicken Loans National for round three after he missed the U.S. Open. Let's check into the seventh hole for Tiger. He knocks in that birdie putt, his fourth in a row, eight under par. Now on the ninth hole, a longer birdie putt at 28 feet. Looking a lot like vintage Tiger there. Back to eight under. 16th hole now. Tiger's all smiles today. He would go on to bogey the 18th hole to finish at seven under, 68th on the day. An NBA free agency does start in just a couple hours, really. Players can't agree to contracts until July 6th, though. LeBron James did opt out of his contract. Doesn't mean he can't come back to Cleveland. LeBron has been on an island with his family and friends, but at about 4 p.m., ESPN confirmed that James did land in Los Angeles just hours before the start of free agency. ESPN also reporting that James has no firm plans to meet with Cleveland's front office to start free agency. And over in Russia, the World Cup is now in the knockout stage. It's all or nothing now in France and Argentina taking the pitch today. Some of the best players in the world suiting up for this one. We start out with a runner here by Kylan Mbappe. He has some help over there in the corner, but he's going to ride it out and draw the foul. Talk about some serious hustle right there. That's going to set up his teammate Griezmann now up for the free kick, and he easily converts this penalty right to the bottom of the left corner. Check out this dance afterwards. A-plus there for the effort. Fast forward to the 63rd minute. All tied up. A French cross to Mbappe. Pays off big time. That ball just barely gets by the keeper. France wins 4-3. to three. Messi's World Cup struggles continue. Eight straight knockout matches with no goals. Let's literally shift gears over to NASCAR, the Xfinity Series at Chicagoland. Kyle Larson won Stage 2 today. He's going to take home the checkered flag in Stage 3, winning his second series of the season. Dana, I'm going to go back to basketball here. You're a Cleveland gal. Are you hurt if LeBron leaves at all? I'm always hurt when it comes to Cleveland sports, Ethan. <laughs> I don't